In this session, we're going to try to develop an intuitive understanding of what acceleration is. And to begin, let's start with an example. Let's say we have an object that's accelerating at a rate of 2 meters per second per second, or 2 meters per second squared. Let's first make sense of these units of meters per second squared. To do that, let's go back to our definition of acceleration, which said that acceleration is a change in velocity per change in time. So I can rewrite this in a more intuitive way as 2 meters per second per one second. And what this is basically telling us is that the velocity changes by two meters per second per second. That is, in this case, the velocity could be increasing by two meters per second per second, or it could be decreasing by two meters per second per second. Another equally valid way to write the units of acceleration of meters per second squared is as two meters per second per second. But unfortunately, if you start using this longhand notation, it starts to become very cumbersome to actually write out the units. So we do a little shorthand notation as 2 meters per second per second, or 2 meters per second squared. And basically, if you were to do this out, if you did a meter per second divided by a second, you could do the math out, and you could multiply the bottom by 1 over seconds, and what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So you have to uh, multiply the top by 1 over time as well. What you'd see is that this unit a second cancels out with that unit a second, and when you multiplied these units out, which multiply like real numbers, you would get a meter per second times a second times another second, which works out to be meters per second squared. So the unit of meter per second squared is just really a shorthand to explain a change in velocity of a meter per second per second. Now let's start with a definite example. So we used acceleration equals 2 meters per second squared. And that's going to indicate that the velocity is going to be either increasing or decreasing by 2 meters per second every single second. Let's start with a definite example. Let's suppose I have an object starting out with an initial velocity of 0. That is, the velocity of this object is going to begin from rest. And let's say that the velocity of this object is going to increase. What does it mean to increase at a rate of 2 meters per second per second? So if you check the velocity after one second, that is, this object's been speeding up for one second, which I'll write as v with a subscript 1 to indicate that the velocity has been increasing for one second, the velocity is going to go from 0 meters per second to 2 meters per second in one second. After one more second, so after two seconds total, the velocity goes from 2 meters per second, and it's going to increase by 2 meters per second every single second, so it's going to go to 4 meters per second. After one more second, the velocity is going to increase from 4 meters per second to 6 meters per second. Notice every single second that the velocity of this object is increasing, the velocity increases by a constant amount, or in this case, 2 meters per second. So notice during this one second interval of time, the velocity changes by 2 meters per second per second, or 2 meters per second squared. During this interval of time, between 2 and 1 seconds, the velocity is going to change by 2 meters per second every single second, or 2 meters per second squared. During this interval of time, between 3 seconds and 2 seconds, the velocity will again increase by 2 meters per second squared. Now the key idea here is that the acceleration is constant. So this is a constant acceleration. And that's an important idea. Now let's start with another example to try to make sense of this a little bit more. Let's say I have an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. And let's say this, this object is slowing down. So let's say the acceleration equals negative 2 meters per second per second, or the velocity of this object will decrease by 2 meters per second every single second. One of the key ideas is that when the velocity and the acceleration signs are opposite, the object's going to be slowing down. So after one second, has elapsed, the velocity of this object goes from 10 meters per second, and it's going to decrease by 2 meters per second every single second. So the velocity goes from 10 meters per second to 8 meters per second. In one second, the velocity changes by 2 meters per second. In this case, it's going to decrease. After one more second, the velocity is going to go from 8 meters per second, and it's going to slow down at a rate of 2 meters per second per second. So the velocity now will be 6 meters per second. Notice again, a change in velocity of negative 2 meters per second every single second, or negative 2 meters per second squared. And where are we getting that from? Because we're relying on the definition of acceleration, which says that acceleration is a change in velocity per change in time. 
And in this case, we're going to go from an initial velocity of 8 meters per second to a final velocity of 6 meters per second. And when you do this calculation out, you get 6 meters per second minus an initial velocity of 8 meters per second. And this change in velocity occurs over a 1 second interval of time. And what you should see is 6 minus 8 meters per second equals negative 2 meters per second per 1 second, or negative 2 meters per second squared. Now if we continue with this, after an additional second of slowing down, this object goes from 6 meters per second to 4 meters per second in 1 second. And again, what you should see is that the velocity is changing by 2 meters per second squared, or 2 meters per second every single second. After one more second, the velocity goes from 4 meters per second to 2 meters per second. And again, notice that the acceleration is constant. The velocity is continuously decreasing by a constant rate of negative 2 meters per second per second.